Well, he's looking at the middle, I think. Possibly to, to clip that one back in and come down for the black. Oh, oh, what a shot. Fifth attempt. Yeah, this time, this time he's got it. Just thunderous round of applause for that shot. Thirty one. Well, here we go again then, but this time he's hitting the red instead of the pink. Done it again, caught them well, and he's on the red near the black. Thirteen. And Liang knew the significance of that error on the pink, visibly infuriated by it. Oh, what about that? There you can Earlier on today, Mark Selby beat Robbie Williams 6-2. He'll play Martin Gould in the semi-finals. He beat Ali Carter, also in a final frame decider. And that's Why? a great long red from Alan. It's a mistake. Well, there's an angle there off the back and side cushions. But if he misses it, he might leave a free ball. In which case, that blue may become irrelevant. Two cushions, possibly three. Looks good. Well played. Well played, sir. Could have done with that cue ball a little bit closer to the back cushion. Mark might be tempted here. He likes to take these on. It's, it's his sort of range. So we'll soon find out. He's got the angle to go into the reds or play for the plant. Didn't fancy the plant, but that's worked out very nicely. He didn't hold back. He knew he had to go into these reds with power. Well, he didn't hold back there, did he? 
and I think he is on the right to the right corner. Not ideally. And the cue ball's going into the red, so again, it won't know what's going to happen to the cue ball. The red to the left middle gets him onto the black, but that's a much tougher shot. Nicely played. <laughs> And I thought, well, what's the rule there? If he goes off the table, it's a foul. If he comes back on the table, it's not a foul. So I rang Paul Collier up and he said, yes, it's a foul. Red goes into the pocket, foul four. Because it's just actually just stood there, finished on the, on the rail. I thought, oh, that's a strange one. Yes, and not a, the best break off. He's left a red to the left corner. And it can sometimes cost you the frame, this. Yeah. Would be massive. Mark Allen, we know, likes to attack. He can pot this and probably screw back for the green here. Oh, what about that? Full blooded for the blue. I thought he might have played that. It's, uh, it, it's edgy stuff. We have a black ball finish. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Well, Judd Trump won the safety exchanges earlier in the match, but Mark Allen's beginning to come to the party in that regard. Sure. Yes, it was an excellent break of 80, wasn't it? With Trump eyeing the 147 just before the interval to draw level at two all. He's looking good to move. Forty. Not sure whether there's a double on. He might try and cut this red back into the left middle. Go on, get in, get in. Oh, okay. well played. Frame one, of course, but you want to the century. Well, he's showing good early form here, Judd, in this year's international championship. But let's be honest, he to, Ian hasn't really pushed him. It's going to be 5 0. Judd just needing. One more frame to put himself into the next round. Well, this has been a super break. I mean, that was a great red to the left middle a couple of minutes ago. Bit straight, might have to leave himself the double. Well, it's black for the century, second of the match. And the break ends at 105, but Judd Trump. He's now on the cusp of victory. It's a, a short workout for him. Of course, he beat Chris Totten 6 0 in the preliminary round in Preston, and he's now leading Preston's Ian Burns here in Da Ching by five frames.
looks like being a comfortable afternoon's work here in Darching for Higgins. Look at this for a shot. One. And he looked at that red. And that's One. it. One's gone in, he says. That's a great pot. One.